Kenya's horticulture sector contributes about 1.7% to the country's agricultural GDP. The sector is among the top foreign exchange earners in the country, generating approximately 1.5 billion US dollars annually and contributes enormously to food security and household income. For the last three years, the sector has earned the country about 450 billion shillings in export value, according to the Kenya Bureau of Statistics report of 2020. In order to understand what makes Kenya's cut flowers and ornamentals the best in the export market, we paid a visit to Tambuzi Limited, a flower farm based on the foothills of Mount Kenya. What makes our flower to stand out is the fact that we use uh, organic manure instead of inorganics. We have adapted the use of biochar as a way of um, holding carbon instead of emitting it. We use solar energy instead of electric energy and we also have adopted um, the use of um, drip lines as a way of feeding our flowers so that we can use as less water as possible. Christine Shikuku, the Assistant General Manager, explains how the farm has maintained social sustainability over the years. Tambuzi has welfare facilities that ensure that our workers are happy. We have a staff clinic based here in the farm and our relationship between the union and management is very harmonized. We have worker representatives within the farm from all departments who come together and we do have dialogue each and every single month. Also, we do ensure that the uh, Tambuzi is a safe and healthy place to work in and therefore we enforce the use of uh, personal protective equipment amongst our workers. Kenya has about 220 flower farms, of which 70 of them are based around Lake Naivasha. These farms strictly adhere to international standards, which require rigorous good agricultural practices and environmental auditing, as Silas Wanjala confirms. With the issues of uh, certification and uh, standardization, uh, the lake and uh, the ecosystem has continually improved. Another good indication of the quality of water is um, the increasing number of uh, the fish species. And all, not just the fish, but also the human populations that increasingly come into the fishery sector. Gideon Aliero, a technical lead agronomist, explains how they ensure the production of Kenya's fresh produce for export remains sustainable economically, socially and environmentally. Number one, we are looking at food safety, which is key. We are looking at the environment. How do we carry out our agricultural practices in a manner that will ensure the safety of the environment? The other thing that we practice is uh, taking care of the welfare of the animals uh, that are around where we are working. And finally, is the workers. If we don't take care of the worker, then the worker might not take care of the environment. If we don't take care of the worker, the worker might not take care of the food that we are producing. And how do Kenyan farmers maintain high quality standards and food safety in the production of fresh produce for the export? Mr. Ahori Madadi says that support in agronomy services and farmer training is key. The trainings we are having goes all the way up to post-harvest handling, including crop protection, crop nutrition. And how do Kenyan farmers control pests and diseases? We employ the use of IPM, Integrated Pest Management, systems. For example, keeping your farm clean, planting border crops. The other one is we scout. In order to maximize on the shelf life of fresh produce, refrigerated trucks collect produce at the farms and transport them directly to the pack houses near the airport. We offer it very, very fast. We take the temperatures, we screen that cargo. All the operations are done within allowed temperatures so that it affects value in the market. The reasons for the success of Kenya's horticulture industry are diverse. They include compliance to international food safety standards, 
capacity trainings for farmers on good agricultural practices, farmer certification programs, innovation and high technology adoption by producers, high-end cold chain systems, favorable climatic conditions, among others. All these factors, coupled with a natural climate in Kenya and a solid leadership from industry member associations such as the Fresh Produce Exporters Association of Kenya, the Fresh Produce Consortium of Kenya, and the Kenya Flower Council has seen the growth of the horticulture industry, making it an attractive venture that can only become greater.